What should I do if I am unable to access the internet? Connecting to a DSL modem and a WAV link router. Let's follow this video to solve the issue step by step. Notice, we only take 53888 for a demonstration here, and the associated steps may vary from different models. Step 1. Check the physical connection. First, make sure your modem is connected to the WAN port of the router. The PC is connected to the router's LAN port. If the above is correct while can't access the internet, proceed to step 2. Step 2. Restart the modem. Unplug the network cable and power cord connected to the modem. Replug them after 1 minute to restart the modem. Then check whether you can access the internet. If still not, go following steps. Step 3. Test for the internet connection type on your PC. Dynamic IP connection PO connection. In this step just connect the PC directly to the modem. Situation 1. Dynamic IP. Press Windows Plus or key together on your PC. Type in CPA CPL and click OK to enter the network connection page. Then click Ethernet Go Properties. Make sure that we have selected Obtain an IP address automatically. If your PC can access the internet, then you are using a dynamic IP connection. Now you need to check your PC's internet status. Go details and write down the information including its connection type and IP address. Then go to step 4. If your PC can't access the internet, continue the following. Situation 2. PO. Press Windows Plus or key together on your PC. Type control. And click OK to enter the control panel. Then go to network and sharing center. Select set up a new connection or network. Then click connect to the internet. And finally go to broadband PO. Enter your username and password, which are provided by your ISP, Internet Service Provider. Click Connect, to finish and launch the connection. If your PC can access the Internet, then you are using a PO connection. Now press Windows Plus or key together on your PC. Type, in CPA CPL, and click OK to enter the network connection page. Now you need to the check your PC, Internet status. Click Ethernet. Go, details, write down the information including its connection type and IP address. Then go to step 4. Step 4. Log into the router's web management page, and set up internet connection type on your router. Connect your router back to the modem and PC separately. For situation 1, dynamic IP connection, turn on your computer and open the browser. Enter http colon slash slash wifi dot wavlink dot com log into the web management page of the order check your router's internet status including its one type one IV compare this with your PC's internet status which collected in the step 3. If they are similar to each other, IP addresses are in the same network segment. Go step 5. If they are different from each other, go setup. Then internet settings to set up an internet connection. Choose DHCP as your one type. Click Apply. Wait until the progress bar is loaded to 100%. Now click Refresh and then check whether you can access the Internet. For Situation 2, PO Connection. Open a browser on your PC. Enter http colon slash slash wifi dot wavlink dot com. Log into the web management page of the router. Check your router's internet status, including its one type, one IV. Compare this with your PC's internet status, which collected in the step three. If they are similar to each other, IP addresses are in the same network segment. Go step five. 
if they are different from each other. Go setup. Then internet settings to set up an internet connection, one type. Choose PO, and enter your account and password. Click apply. Wait until the progress bar is loaded to 100%. Now check whether you can access the internet. If still not, go step 5. Step 5. Set up the DNS server. Open up the browser. Enter http colon slash slash wifi dot wavlink dot com. Log into the web management page of the order. Go set up. Then internet settings. Select use the following DNS. Enter 8.8.8.8 is the DNS 1 and 8.8.4.4 is the DNS 2. Click apply. Wait until the progress bar is loaded to 100%. Now check whether you can access the internet. If you've tried every steps above but still cannot access the internet, please contact technical support and report all the above steps that you followed. Thanks for watching.